All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Driver Jay's Garage. My name is Josh and today we are gonna to be talking about this beast right here. This is my 2003 BMW 330XI. Now, I've had this car for just a little over a year, so it is currently the second oldest car in my fleet. We'll get to the oldest in another video, but for now, we're gonna talk about this guy. I've owned this car now just over a year uh, and I've probably put twice the amount I paid originally for the car in 2017 into the car in repairs. Not to say that this car is not reliable, but this car does have 160,000 miles on the body and a little under 100,000 on the motor that is currently in it uh, because we've gone ahead and swapped the motor into this vehicle. Uh, it was a slightly newer motor, same series. It's still an M54 that puts out 225-ish horsepower. It's an automatic transmission, has all-wheel drive. It's a beautiful car. I absolutely love driving it. Uh, it's been my daily driver for the better part of the last year. However, it has caused me a few problems and we'll get into those here in just a second. But this car is currently my daily driver and is going to be the one we're going to be doing the least amount of projects on because it does have to be driven the most. However, we are still going to continue to do some features on this car. So let's go ahead and grab our second camera and start talking about everything that is wrong with this car. Now, we're going to start on the outside because, frankly, that is just the easiest. And there really isn't a ton on the inside that is wrong with this car. We're going to go ahead and get started, and I think my boy is going to come introduce himself here in just about a second. Yeah, pal. What's up? What's up, buddy? Can you go back and play with sister? <laughs> Sorry, we had to have a little interruption there for my son. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get back into the BMW here, guys. So we're going to go ahead and switch to the handheld here. Boom. And <laughs> you may be able to hear my daughter in the background, too. But we're going to go ahead and switch to the handheld so we can go ahead and start covering some of the features and stuff of this car. I want to give you a hug. Okay. <laughs> Come give me a hug, and then please go back to play. I love you. Now that we have got our second camera... We're gonna go ahead and get into some of the other features and quirks about this car in specific and talk about the things that we are going to start looking at over the next series of videos about this car. So first of all, the body is in actually pretty good shape for this old of a car. However, unfortunately today, actually just the very day I'm filming this while we were getting it washed at the non-touchless wash, why you shouldn't do that in another video, but they actually did a little bit of damage to my vehicle. So we've actually got right here, they ended up pulling off one of my side markers and it's damaged enough. And actually you can see the difference in how much grime makes. So we're gonna go ahead and you can see that now on my finger too where I just rubbed a little bit of grime off. We are gonna go ahead and find another set of these or try and repair this one. Uh, but we do need to get a new side marker light otherwise that's gonna scratch up the side of the car. There are some real small scratches and they're probably gonna be really hard to see on camera just because of the color of my car. Um, but we've got some small scratches everywhere on the body. Otherwise, just a little bit of rust forming right down here along the rocker panel. And I think at the back, I think we did have some rust that had been repaired previously. Because um, if we get in close and take a look right in here, it actually looks discolored. It could just be junk on there. So I am going to try and clay bar this off a little bit later and see if we can get rid of that. And it was scraped here at some point. So we are going to try and buff out the scrapes there. And then these are our winter tires. So we are going to do a video about swapping tires seasonally because as you can see, the snow is starting to melt off and it's starting to become spring here in Minnesota. So we're going to go ahead and get all of that off. Uh, but the other damage that the car wash did today, and we're going to try and buff this out, is we just got this line of scratches right here in the roof, as well as this relatively deep one that runs right there. We're going to try and get those out. But mechanically, this vehicle is actually really sound. There are only a few small issues that we are going to have to deal with with it, and we'll get into those once we get inside the car. Um, outside, though, it is in very good condition. There's some, just some scrapes, and this is all stuff to me. I expect this after this car's age. It is a 2003 model year, and it's currently 2019, so you're talking about six years of wear and tear on this paint, um, and it's actually in pretty good shape. So we've got a little bit more rust here, and you can see that starting to build up right here along this line, um, and this is eventually probably going to have to be cut out, and I'm pretty sure, again, this was rust repaired because you can actually see a pretty flat line right here in the paint where it goes from one color and texture down to another. So I do think at some point somebody probably did some body work in here 
and it is a problem typical to the E46 3 Series cars or the uh, <clears throat> the E46 chassis cars. Uh, this is a problem. This is a typical problem with most E46 cars, is where you start to see this rust along here, and it looks like we may be starting to see some here, even on our gas cap door. But it's pretty common to see this rust on E46s, and in fact, most cars in Minnesota. So. Again, on the exterior, there really isn't a lot to write home about. The couple of things we are going to do in project videos, I like blacked out cars. Um, I want to go ahead and black out our lettering. So we're going to go ahead and swap out the badging here for some black badges. That's going to be a quick, simple thing, peeling this all off and then just getting new badging put on here. We already got the badges ordered. This should be a fairly quick project. So when I first bought the vehicle, all of the BMW roundels were starting to get crappy. So we did replace all of those. I actually bought a set on Amazon because they were cheap. I wanted to see how they looked. They actually look pretty decent and it's a lot better than the peeling ones that were from the factory. So we went ahead and addressed that pretty early on. So we replaced those. I will link those down below if you do want to buy yourself a set. That's really it externally on the car is some minor flaws. So we're gonna go ahead, get inside and talk about the exterior stuff. And actually, you know what? We're gonna do this the quick and easy way. Let's go ahead, pop our hood and swing back around to the front of the car. Cause this is where we do start to see some of the issues. Now this doesn't always pop out this way. My hood latch release is starting to stick. So we're gonna try and address that. But we'll go ahead and pop it. And you can see actually one of my black kidneys that I had bought. Uh, I decided early on when I bought this car, I wanted to go black kidneys. One of them, the clips is damaged already. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. And one of the things you'll notice is we recently had a coolant leak on this vehicle. We had the expansion tank go and decide it was going to give us a nice mess to clean up. So we've gotten that mess mostly dealt with now except for this so we're going to go through this when we do some detailing um, but it does have a new expansion tank only a few days old so hopefully mechanically we are good because we do have the newer motor in the one issue we are starting to run into though is it is leaking just a little bit of oil and i can't figure out where yet i thought it was a valve cover gasket because we were starting to see the leak develop in this area i've cleaned it up just to see if that is something that's going to go away uh, but we will take a look at that and see if we can find that. We also have a secondary air pump, which I've recently noticed is missing its uh, hose clamps. And these hoses are starting to rot, so we're going to do some hose replacement. Those are some things we are going to cover here in the next little bit uh, as far as mechanicals. But the fun part with recently throwing a new motor in this vehicle is we do have a second inline six M54 3.0 sitting in our garage ready to get worked on. The fun we're planning on having with that is, I mean, did you really think I was going to give away what we're going to be doing in the project on the, on the M54 B30? No, that's not going to happen quite yet, guys. Let's just get back to watching the rest of this, and, and we'll talk about that later. On the interior of this car, it is really in good shape for how old it is. The leather on the seat bolsters here is starting to suffer just a little bit. It's a little dirty because we haven't driven it a ton over winter and haven't really cleaned it a ton thus far because of that. So we're gonna have to go through, we're gonna do a good detailing of the car and eventually I do wanna see if I can maybe find a replacement seat or at least replacement leather for this to make sure it's in really good condition. And that is actually the worst of the interior. The second worst of the interior. The worst of the interior is right here. And it's in the center console here. In the center console, we've got some spots that are starting to uh, chip and the material is starting to come off the rubberized coating. So either we're gonna look for a new center console set up or we're gonna figure out how to refinish that and get the car cleared. Then, in future projects, what we're gonna go ahead and do is, I really am not a fan of stock stereos. It does sound really good in here. The BMW Business CD unit is one of the better head units I've used, but I do prefer something that has a backup camera and or touch screen because the area I live has a bunch of kids 
and it's nice to be able to see what is directly behind you, so we do want to replace this. I'm eventually looking at doing another Android Auto head unit, so that may come in the future, but to start out with, we are just going to add an aux cable in here, and that's a pretty easy install. But again, this is our daily driver. So guys, that is it for Project 3. Over the beginning of Project 3, and we're gonna be talking about what it's like to own a 16-year-old BMW throughout the channel, so we'll talk about anytime any issues crop up with this car, and anything funky that we do run into. I am Josh, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell up in the top right corner so that you get notification every time we release a new video. Guys, thanks for watching.